Okay guys, there it is. I think that looks pretty clean. Showed you some photos. Tried to give you some details on it. Uh -huh. Hey y'all, welcome to this episode of Easy Street Garage. Today, we're in studio, and we're gonna talk about how to secure a couple compartments that are unsecure in your Airstream. You're gonna wanna stay tuned to this. It's an easy DIY, something that you could do at your house. Stay tuned. Heater just kicked on. One of the first mods I did to this back on track here was I was a little bit concerned about having my uh, AGM battery compartment with this very simple, uh, if you've seen this before, your unit probably has it, the little butterfly, uh, you know, uh, locking system on the top or, or, or clasp, whatever you want to call that thing. That's what's on this from the factory. What I did was, and you'll see from the uh, photos I'm gonna show you right now, was I installed a lock, a locking system I got off of Amazon. I'll give you the part number for that as well. But I put that, uh, I put that lock on the front to give me a little bit more security on my AGM battery box. So something you guys might wanna consider, very simple install, just a matter of, of uh, Removing the screw off the bottom of this, uh, off this uh, uh, locking uh, uh, wing nut here, and then uh, you got a jam nut in there or a bulkhead nut in there that you, you remove, and then you install the locking system on it. So I got to thinking about that. If it worked up front, there's one really concerning piece of security for me on my uh, Airstream, and that is that wet bay, I call it a wet bay, the back bumper bay, it, it's not lockable. I've seen some guys put some, you know, locking, you know, mechanisms on there, but I really didn't care for the way it turned out. So what I'm gonna show you today is I'm simply bought another one of the locking uh, mechanisms. We'll go inside and take a look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this on the back bumper because I've done my measurements, I've done all the math on it, it looks like it should work, and it would be very clean. Is it totally secure? It just keeps the honest people honest. That's all I wanna do. Hey, here is the compartment lock that I bought, okay? Um, see if we can't focus in on that. Uh, gives you an idea of what that thing looks like. That's the compartment lock. Uh, the barrel actually has a, a bulkhead uh, nut that comes on here. Uh, and then there's a locking lever on the inside here. Uh, we're gonna get a better view of what all that looks like here in a few minutes when we go out to the Airstream and I start drilling some holes because I've done all my measurement and I think we're lined up and in the right uh, position. I think that this makes a whole lot better sense. It looks cleaner uh, than having you know a, a, a latching device out there with a padlock or whatever you want to put on it. Uh, this is just cleaner. You can put two in, you can put one in. I'm just going to go with one in the center. Uh, so let's go, let's get to work. Okay, so here's what I've done so far setting up this uh, keyed locker compartment. I put some tape on the back uh, hatch just to protect it. And then I've also done some measurements to take my barrel of my keyed um, lock, if you would, or my barrel lock. I've lined it up here, uh, so I've got a hash mark where I'm gonna start my drilling. When you assemble this, so when I put this through the hatch or the compartment back here, uh, this device, this little plate that you see right here, has a little step down. When you buy this kit, there's actually a, a straight uh, lever and then there's an angled lever. You can see how that's angled right there. Uh, that basically connects at the bottom of the barrel on the bottom side of this hatch. My hope is that this step in this, uh, this lever, this little latching device, 
is going to be enough to get me down this uh, offset and below the bumper. So this configuration, as you see it, you see how that lines up on there? That should give me the locking configuration I need for this back. I'm going to go ahead and punch this uh, also uh, so I have a center punch for my drill bit to start. So we've got our hole drill here. One of the things that uh, I did was I, I kind of drilled just a little short of the dimension uh, because this thing has a flat on either side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it at this dimension. I'm gonna file this out so I at least have a flat where uh, this um, barrel is going to have some place to kind of keep it keyed so it doesn't spin. So I'll go grab that and we'll get this thing filed out. Get that barrel in. And... We've got this filed in here now. It kind of locks into place, so I like the way that worked. So again, drill your hole undersized. Use a rat tail file to go ahead and oblong the hole so that you have the, the that this, this locking barrel kind of fits into this thing keyed where you have some straight edges on either side. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of referring to as the keyed location of the barrel lock. The other thing too is this barrel does have a gasket on it. Uh, so uh, I've got the uh, little gasket seal in place now and so this thing should just drop right in and now we're gonna bring our attention to the underside where I do have the bulkhead nut so we're gonna go ahead and, and screw this thing in so there you see the nut here in the bottom tighten that nut down make sure it's secure I, I believe that's gonna work too probably go with this I think that's what I'll do. Look at that. Look how clean. Man, that is locked down. That's perfect. We got a locking compartment in the back. How cool is that? Okay, guys, there it is. I think that looks pretty clean. Showed you some photos. Tried to give you some details on it. I hope it was helpful. One more. This is your bonus round on locks. Okay. You got a big investment back there. If you're going to park this thing and go away for the day, it's a good idea to throw it hefty duty lock on the front of your home. It's called the Proven Locks. I'll put a link in the uh, description below, but guys, this is it, man. This is the lock. This is the mother of all locks. I love this thing because not only can I lock the hitch up on this thing and feel comfortable leaving it for the day here in storage, I don't have that problem. I'm in a gated community. It's locked up. I own the place. However, this thing, not only does it lock the tongue of the of your Airstream up, but also on the back side of here, you're able to put your safety chains in here and they are secured as well. I think this thing is awesome. It's a little bit pricey. However, so is that thing behind me. This is awesome. I'm gonna hook it up. I'll show you how it Here's how this thing works. It does have a barrel lock on the bottom of it, okay? So once you open up that barrel lock, and pull the front lock mechanism off like this. It also has a fixture that comes out the bottom, looks like this. This fixture is designed to go up into the ball hitch and then you lock it down. The next piece of the puzzle is you gotta take this monster and you gotta take your safety chains and secure your safety chains inside the housing. If you're going away for a day, it really gives you a peace of mind that your house is secure. So there you get a good idea. Your safety chains are secure up into this housing. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the housing and you're gonna slide all this mechanism together like that. Now you're secure. You gotta put the barrel lock back on. Here's the barrel lock. It just goes right in this receiver in the front end. You slide the bolt up, you turn your barrel key, and guys, we're locked up. It's secure. Chains are secure. 
and uh, I feel pretty good if I gotta leave for the day that my investment is protected.